the new Jenkins plugin. So if you Google, you know, Workshop Execution Manager Jenkins or Jenkins plugin, you'll get to the wiki page where you can see there's now a, a plugin that allows you to communicate with Execution Manager. Um, there's really nice for both um, information here with all your help of how to fill this out and download it. What you'll do is you'll go into Jenkins and you'll install it. So you can see in my installs plugins here, I have a checkbox where I've enabled the Workshop Execution Manager plugin. Okay, so this is downloaded directly from the store and then enabled there. And then we have a global configuration uh, because we realize that people building their integrations may not know the location of Execution Manager and their credentials. You may want to keep those private. There's a way to do the global configuration to point to those. And then what happens is when you add a build step, in this case, this is a freestyle build, you can see we now have the ability to run an execution manager request, a bookmark, or you can actually pick a list of certified processes. Um, now, in the past, we did this through uh, PowerShell scripts or um, Bash scripts that actually manipulated the execution manager APIs. What we've done with the plugin is we use the same public APIs for execution manager that we document in the Swagger spec, but what we've done is we've written a plugin to call them. Okay? Um, now remember, one of the key things that you'll want to do is probably pass in the build number or things like that um, as part of the process. So we allow you to send extra parameters that go as result parameters in your processes themselves. Here's the um, here's the actual um, plugin web page. So what you see is here. I just went into the Jenkins uh, wiki page, and you can see we've got a list of all the different parameters and help on what's available. Okay. So you can do everything from selecting existing requests and bookmarks, or you can actually specify individual processes directly. So each one of these three. Um, parts of the plugin are going to map directly to the Swagger spec. So if I come to Jenkins and I look at Jenkins itself, that's what I thought. For Jenkins itself, I can actually go through and um, create a new build, okay? So the other thing um, I can do is actually look at the configuration for Jenkins themselves. So if I go to manage Jenkins, um, I can see in system configuration, this is where I've done the settings to point to my execution manager. So I can set this globally, or I can let the steps override this as required. So some people may only have one execution manager, so you can set it globally. Other people may have multiple connections there. So within the configuration, there's that. And then you can actually um, see that we have the um, other parts. So this is my list of um, existing um, plugins. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a new item. I'm gonna say, give me a freestyle build. And I'll click OK. So if I come down to my build and I say build step, what I'll see here is I've run execution manager request. So I can do one of three things. I can um, run an existing execution manager request. So what we do is we look into execution manager because we know how to connect to it from the global setting, and I can pick an existing request, I can pick a bookmark. So these bookmarks are the ones that are set it and managed in studio, or I can actually point to a specific certify process. So um, in, in case you're new to the concept of bookmark, in management studio, we can actually point um, or create a bookmark that points to kind of our favorite certified processes. If I look at bookmark administration, what I can see here is I've created different bookmarks. Um, this is 
and what happens is these point to different locations. So if I say add, I can point to a folder of processes. So from a DevOps con concept, many times you create a folder and you put your tests you want to run there and the build server just runs whatever's in the folder. Um, so this is the easiest way for people to coordinate running their tests. They just drop it in the folder and they run. There's no extra administration. You can actually point to specific certified processes um, or you can actually point to test sets in HP ALM and we'll run those. So your bookmark clicks, you select one of those. So if I come over here and I look, I can see it allows me to pick a database and a project. And this is a folder one, so it says any test inside of the regressed sales orders will run. Okay? So I have one test or 50 tests, it doesn't matter. Okay? So what we're trying to do is make it easy to reference or build a link between Jenkins and Execution Manager and your certified processes. Um, so selecting a bookmark will do that. Um, if, you were, if you have pre-built them, you're more traditional like this. I can select it. And now I've created my request. Um, so if I come back and I configure it, what I can see is it's been saved. And maybe I want to do something, like add an extra parameter. So in this case, um, I know that I have a um, build number str string. Um, and I want to put a value in here. Well, if I, if I don't know the values, I can click the help and get a, an example here. So if I want to get, um, say, the build number or the build ID or something into certify, what I can do is I can do dollar brace brace and I happen to know it's build number. So what I'm asking is when this runs, take the Jenkins build number and put it into the build number string result property. So if you have anything where you have the build ID, the environment strings, anything that you want to save into the results, you can search them later. That's how you do it. Want to do build now? What we'll see is the process starts running. So look at the console output. I can see it's it started this. It's going to run the SAP OTC. It's connecting to my execution manager. And it's going to run this process for me. Okay. I can see it's still running. I was seeing in um, execution man, um, sorry, in um, can't click right. I can see it over here as my running request. You've all seen this before that execution manager is doing the work. If I look, it's running on resource Dallas. I can spy onto Dallas and see that it's executing here. And I may have two processes running here. Um, so there we go, it's actually running. So the idea is we wanted to give you an option, instead of using the API um, to actually manipulate Execution Manager, we basically built a nice um, plugin. So as this runs and completes, look at the statuses here. Okay, I can see here it is actually completed and the process failed. And so I now can actually technically fail the build, right? So Pretty easy. The idea was we wanted, we had lots of traction with people running um, Execution Manager and their certified processes and, and their um, HP ALM test sets. Um, from Jenkins, we decided to go and create a build or a plugin to make that much easier. 